we're going to be finding the volume of a cone-shaped drinking cup, and this should match the lessons for GED in Lesson 23. We can find the volume of a cone-shaped drinking cup by using its dimensions and the formula for the volume of a cone. We'll look at our sheet of formulas here. We can see this one down here. Cone is V equals one-third pi R squared H. Okay? So that's what we're going to be using, and we're going to be using the dimensions. And it tells us that from this edge to this edge across the opening of the cup is two and three-fourths inches, and its height is four inches. That's our paper drinking cup. First thing we want to do is turn this into a decimal. Two three-fourths inches is 2.75 inches, okay? Now let's take a look at this formula. It's telling us that it wants us to multiply one-third times pi, which will be 3.14, times the radius squared, which means radius times radius, and then we need to multiply that to the height. Well, we know that the diameter going all the way across is 2.75, and the height is a 4. We need the radius of the open part, not the diameter. A radius is half the diameter, so that means we only need half of it, don't we? So let's do 2.75 divided by 2. Remember, fractions are little division problems. That's going to give us a radius of 1.375 inches. We know the height is 4 inches, right? So now we can plug this information in. Now we've got volume equals 1 third times the 3.14 for the pi, the 1.375 squared for the radius squared, and the 4 for the height. We're not going to multiply by a third. We're actually going to divide later on. So don't multiply, okay? So we can write it like this. So it's divided by three, but we need to do the numerator first. So let's do this part, the radius. We need to do 1.375 times 1.375. We get 1.890625. Now we can multiply it to our pi. But remember, it's not all the digits for pi, so this is just an approximation. We multiply the 3.14 times our radius squared, and we get 5.936.5625. Nice long decimal number. We need to multiply it by the height 4, and we do that. We get 23.74625. Now we did everything that was in the numerator, now we can divide it by 3, and it's still an approximation because of what pi did to us, okay? So now we've got this number. If we had multiplied it by a third, we could have done 23.74625 over 1 and then multiplied straight across. We'd still be dividing this number. When we multiplied the fractions, we'd still end up with this. So. Multiplication and division are inverses of each other. We can just divide by 3. And to write as a decimal, one-third would be 0.33333, and it continues on, doesn't it? So we would have to just cut it to a 0.33 to be a third. And if we multiply this on our calculator, we come up with this number, the 7.836 number. Division is more accurate. If we do 23.74625 divided by 3, we get this number. And look at the difference in the answers. See that? We have a 7.91. And it wants us to give the answer to the nearest tenth of a cubic inch. And that 9 is in the tenths place, isn't it? It's in the tenths place. The 1 is telling it to stay the same. So, what is the volume of the paper cup to the nearest tenth of a cubic inch? Mm-hmm, it's C. And if you look at the answers they give you, they'll try to throw in answers that could fool you. When we got to the point where it was 23.74, they might have a 23.8 or a 23.7 to trick you so that you'll do half the problem, see that answer, and say, oh, it's that one. 
and not finish the problem, okay? So be very, very careful when you're taking the test, all right? And remember that it's more accurate to divide by three than it is to multiply by a third or even two thirds. That could be tricky. You might want to multiply. It's up to you, whatever helps you answer the problem, okay? You can see 7.8, if we rounded this to 7.8, that answer is not here, but it's close, okay? So hopefully this will help you. And this was just a quick video uh, to help someone out for volume of a cone-shaped drinking cup that was on the test. I'll see you next time. Keep trying. Try to make it all the way through the playlist. Bye.